So we see on the graph that we have this segment QR. So one of its endpoints Q is plotted at the point negative eight, negative two. The other endpoint R is at four, four. And we're told to determine and state the coordinates of P. So we're gonna be creating a new point on here such that QP to PR equals one to two. So we need to create a ratio of one to two along segment QR. So to do that, I'm actually going to start by drawing in the rise and run from point Q to point R. So let's start by thinking about the rise or the vertical distance. So to get from Q to R, I go up one, two, three, four, five, six. So the rise is six or the vertical distance is six. And now I'm gonna count the run or the horizontal distance. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay, so I have my rise and my run which I'm gonna think of as my distance from one endpoint to the other. So to create a one to two ratio, that means I need to split it into three equal pieces. One piece will be on the left between Q and P, and two of those three equal pieces will be on the right of point P, or between P and R. So I'm gonna take my vertical distance first, which is six, and I'm gonna divide that by three. You know that six divided by three is two. So my new vertical distance will be two. Now same idea with the horizontal distance, which is 12. So I'm gonna do 12 divided by three, which is four. So my new horizontal distance will be four. So let, mm, let's take, yeah, let's use a bright color. So I'm going up two, right four, starting from point Q. So up two, right four. I'm gonna draw a little point there. And then repeat that, up two, right four, until I get to the other end point. So you can see it looks like I've drawn like three little triangles along this segment. So those are the three equal pieces that I've split it into. So I have three equal pieces along segment QR. I want to split it into a ratio of one to two, starting from point Q. So from point Q, there's one of those three equal pieces. And then from here to R would be two equal pieces. So that means that this point right here is what splits the segment into a one to two ratio. So this is the location of point P. So my final step is to write the coordinates of that point when it says determine and state the coordinates. So P is at the point negative four, zero.